One of the hot button issues that has been talked about extensively in the manosphere and elsewhere online, but is now broken through to the mainstream, is of course the topic of the so called mating crisis. Now, that's the term they use, the mating crisis. And I've talked about this before, this isn't anything new. But there's another topic that typically goes hand in hand with the so called mating crisis, and that is the so called obsolescence of the human male. So it usually goes something like this. Oh my God, women are out earning and outstripping men in every sector in every possible way. They're more educated than men. They're making more money. They're just surpassing them in every conceivable way, shape, or form. You can think of, what are we going to do? Men are obsolete. Obviously, I'm being a little bit hyperbolic here, but you get the gist. And frequently, to be perfectly honest, that's how it goes down. It usually is, oh my God, women are so amazing. They're doing all these amazing things. Oh my God. And men are just... Yeah, sort of chop liver. Now, there is, of course, a kernel of truth to this. I'll get into all of this in a bit. But as is typical, this is yet another case of missing the forest for the trees. In a very specific context, an important one, albeit, but a very specific one, men have become, quote-unquote, more obsolete than they used to be. But the false conclusion to draw from this is that the human male is, quote-unquote, obsolete and unnecessary. Now, one of the reasons why I want to talk about this was because of a certain guest, none other than Chad Williamson had. And normally I would just play the clip, but Chad Williamson doesn't like me. He shadow banned me, so I don't want to risk anything using his material. But this guest that he had on is a very well-known, prominent academic by the name of Richard Rangham. And... He has some pretty provocative theses about human behavior, evolution, and morality. The gist of this, and I would encourage you to check it out if you're interested, and I'll post a link with a timestamp URL where he goes full ham, but the gist of his argumentation is basically that moral systems evolved due to male aggression primarily in an effort to figure out how to navigate that. And when he said that, I thought, okay, that kind of makes sense. Male and male aggression is a thing. Certainly prior civilization, it was very much a thing, even more so than it is now. But they go on and on and on. And then towards the end, Chad Williamson brings up this idea that men are obsolete or becoming obsolete and women just don't need them anymore. And Richard, quite smugly and confidently, suggests that the Y chromosome, that which makes the male the male, should simply be deleted from existence and or bottled up like smallpox and a test tube, to never see the light of day again. Very casually talks about the genocide, the destruction of half of humanity. And when Chad Williamson questions him on the morality of that, he just smirks and says, well, isn't that a question? Again, I'll post a link to the bit where this is stated. You might want to check out the whole thing. This issue of men being obsolete is only partly true. I'm going to cover all the angles here. Talk about the moral angle too. Talk about whether or not that's even feasible. But it's really only a factor when it comes to mating and dating. Women are now out earning men in some capacity. And so their quote unquote standards are not being met to the same degree that they might have been in former times. Fair enough. But that doesn't mean that men are obsolete. Let me point out the obvious in case some people are not aware of the obvious. So I'm aware, at least, of the nature of certain types of work. And let me tell you something. Every time I see a garbage truck, every time I need to call a plumber, every time I simply cross the street and the pedestrian lights are working correctly, I thank the gods that men are doing those jobs. Because the reality is that if all men decided tomorrow to stop doing what they're doing and do what's claimed that they're doing, which is nothing, they claim they're doing nothing, civilization, as we know, would cease to exist. The plumbing wouldn't work anymore. You wouldn't be able to cross the street because the lights would go haywire. The garbage wouldn't be picked up. The sewage wouldn't be treated. You name it from top to bottom. The fancy office buildings that women work in, those wouldn't be built. Nothing would get done. So how on earth do people even come up with the idea that men are somehow obsolete? Yes, in that narrow domain, which is an important one of mating and dating. 
But if you want to keep society going, civilization, men are still just as essential as they've always been. And one of the reasons why this particular instance of missing the forest for the trees is so egregious, in my mind, is I liken it to somebody going to a supermarket, right, and then seeing the produce, the meat, the eggs, the cheese, the milk, all the food there, and thinking, wow, apples, carrots, broccoli, beef, chicken, eggs, fish. I guess we don't need farmers and fishermen anymore because it all exists in the supermarket. Ignoring the fact that all those people did all the work to get the goddamn food to the supermarket. And who drove the trucks to deliver the food directly to the supermarket after the farmers and fishers made it possible? Men, of course, because the vast majority of truckers and people engaged in that type of work are men. As if the things in the supermarket existed in a vacuum. As if the garbage got picked up by itself. As if the plumbing just works through an act of God. And I could go on and on. Of course, all these things need to be done and manned, yes, in order to get done. And a big part of it is because the vast, vast, vast majority of women don't want to do the jobs that men are willing to do in order to keep things going. Whether or not these jobs, say the job of a garbage man or a plumber or a construction worker, whether or not these jobs make men attractive to women is immaterial. So by all means claim that women reactively speaking with their standards, don't find a lot of men, even the majority of men, attractive these days, far more so than it used to be the case. But don't lie to yourself and to the world and claim that men are obsolete. They're not. This is why I have an immense respect for any man who does these things. I don't do these things, but I know they're absolutely essential. In a very real sense, men are simply not obsolete. If every man quit tomorrow, civilization would cease to function. Conversely, if every woman quit tomorrow, the actual gears and cogs that keep civilization going, society, there'd be some effect, but it wouldn't be nearly as profound or as extreme as the effect of men quitting the things that are absolutely necessary to keep everything going. Now that that's out of the way, let's address the fact that there are always unintended consequences. We'll talk about the moral aspect here too. But when you're bringing up a topic like this and claiming that men, because they are the primary sources of aggression, a certain type of aggression, they don't even specify there, they should just be deleted out of existence, you just don't know what the consequences will be. I just pointed out some of them. Messing with complex biologies and ecologies has historically been well attested to be problematic. You end up messing up things half the time a lot worse than they used to be. This happens with the introduction of invasive species. This happens with the elimination of a species. And I'm not necessarily equating these things with getting rid of men. The point is, is that complex organisms and the things they produce, in this case, human civilization, what needs to be borne in mind is that they are there for a reason. And you have to be able to observe the good and the bad that go along with them. But let's talk about the obvious moral problem with all of this. There are a handful of groups out there that you can basically say whatever you want about, criticize nonstop, and just stick pins in day and night, 24-7, and these groups are not allowed to complain and not allowed to say anything. Men are bad, 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 bad. Okay, no problem. A famous academic gets on a podcast and casually suggests that Men be eliminated, i.e. genocided out of existence. Just another day in the park, I guess. God forbid you were to ever say something like that about women. We all know what the consequences would be, or any other group that's considered protected or marginalized. So you really want to see how far gone things are. Have a listen to this podcast. Listen to this guy casually say, eh, we need to remove this ideally which will supposedly lead to the stabilization of society. It's so obvious that women are aggressive too, but in different ways. They tend to be, on average, less physically aggressive. But they are aggressive in other ways. They gossip, they engage in reputational damage. In polygynous societies where there's one male with many wives, the wives will poison each other's offspring. It's subtle and different, but it's not necessarily any better. So, look, human beings are kind of crap, you could argue. 
men in their own ways and women in their own ways. But nobody with any moral compass is going to say, oh, we need to eliminate men from the entirety of existence. Certainly, they wouldn't say that about women. A real testament how far gone things are. And so much of that comes from this misperception that men are obsolete. It's just because a bunch of women don't want to date a majority of men. Well, that's fine. How about those men just sit back and not do the things they're quote-unquote supposed to and watch civilization crumble? Watch the smells emerge from the sewers. Watch how everything falls apart. And then you can come back to me and tell me how men are obsolete. They're just not. Anyway, as always, thank you for tuning in. Special thanks to my patrons who keep the channel alive. Greatly appreciated. You guys are the best. And if you can, engage in the usual YouTube jazz. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. And if I'm still alive, I'll check you out later. Take care. Until the next time, if time there be, may the gods watch over you. Bye-bye. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you enjoy my content, please consider making a donation or becoming a patron. Thanks for watching.